There's a lot of snow in those Rocky Mountains, the Sierras, the Cascades. What's the water situation looking like with snowpack across the American West being so much more impressive than we expected? Let's break it down closer to the basin level just across the western U.S. These are snow tell sites. These are all the, the mountain basins that flow into the rivers and then contribute to the larger river system. But we're looking at all the western U.S. and a lot of these basins from Nevada, southern Oregon, southern Idaho, down through Utah and Colorado into Arizona and New Mexico. A lot of those basins are 100, 200% of normal. And that percent of normal is considering how much snow is on the ground waiting to be melted. That's the snow water equivalent. Then you get way up to the north and we're not doing quite as well. But generally speaking, everyone across the west is having a much better water year than expected. So focusing on the amount of snow water equivalent, SWE, S-W-E. How much of this is going on for the Rockies that are going to feed into the Colorado River Basin, as well as the Wasatch Range? Don't want to forget about that range as well. So let's take a look at that now. Again, this is percent of average of how much water is sitting there in the snowpack. So just looking at those snow tell locations, those snow measuring sites that will contribute into the Colorado River Basin, there's a lot here to catch your eye. Like here in eastern Utah, 226% of average from that site. But as you broaden the view, a lot of these sites are well over 100% of normal. And some do approach 200% of normal. Some of the Wasatch, some of the Rockies here, uh, some of the Park, Elk, Gore ranges all have some totals that approach 150% or so. That's quite a bit of snow water equivalent sitting on the ground waiting to melt as of today. Now let's take a look at the same thing, but Historically, are we ranking record setting? What are we talking about here with some of these snow tell sites? So out of these sites, there are many that were, you know, within top five or so, historically speaking, per their period of record. Let's go in here to north of Steamboat Springs, north of Craig. This is North Route, North Route County. And we have many that are 100th percentile, meaning that site is the record setter snowiest snow water equivalent sitting on the ground right now. So number one ranked historically here, just outside of Steamboat Springs. This is a 95th percentile type of season. As you broaden the view and look across Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, Northern New Mexico, it's been a remarkable snow year. Most all of these locations that are gonna flow into the Colorado, most of these are within you know a 90th to 100th percentile. So we're looking at it like a top, top five, top 10 kind of snowpack to date. Now, some of these regions that feed the Rio or the Arkansas, these are not nearly as strong, but you know, focusing on the Colorado River, there's a lot of water upstream that's gonna flow into these reservoirs and things throughout the spring and summer. Okay, so we have this historic perspective now, right? A lot of their snow basins have record setting amounts of snow waiting to be melted. Well, here's, a look at Lake Powell. How much of that is going to contribute to Lake Powell? Well, current year is the blue line. How much of that snow water equivalent is going to contribute? And then we have the green line, which was last year, or the average 1991 to 2020 is the purple line. So we have a lot more than normal and a lot more than last year of water waiting to be melted to flow into Lake Powell. But greater perspective here. That's the glass is half full perspective. What about, or maybe lake is half full perspective in this case. What about the glass is half empty kind of perspective? Well, this is looking at Lake Powell in terms of storage. I just showed you how much water will flow in considering the historic perspective. This is the storage right now for Lake Powell. Currently, percent of average, 38% is all. And then we have last year in the line just above, in that yellow to orangish line. We are way down as far as capacity, how much water is there in Lake Powell versus historically. So yes, it's great we have water to flow in, and that will help Lake Powell's levels as we go forward. But right now, we've got such a deficit to overcome that it's going to take a long time. Let's take a look at Lake Mead. Similar situation. This year is the black line, representing 45% of its average storage is contained there now. Last year is the blue line, which was higher, and a normal range would be in these colorations up here. 
So historically low for Lake Mead, Lake Powell, but we do have the advantage of adding the snowpack into those reservoirs. And how much are we talking about? Well, as you look at kind of how all these reservoirs play out for the Colorado, we've got Lake Mead, Lake Powell. We just talked about them being quite low. Some of these upstream reservoirs are doing much better like Crystal Reservoir, Morrow Point Reservoir, nearly full. We're making headway, if you will. The upstream reservoirs are starting to fill up better, more efficiently, and that will eventually flow down. Now, if we go back to how much snow is currently on the ground and how that will contribute to the Colorado River system, which is right in here, the bulk of these, these colors right here, that's gonna be right around 200%, so double at least, if not 200%, then more, that's gonna be the contribution of the snow water that's waiting to be melted into that river system. But again, we have to be patient because things are so low already. It may take four, five, I've heard some researchers say six or seven years of seasons just like this to fully replenish the Colorado River system. We have the snowpack now, it's going to help, but considering the deficit we've been in, we need a lot more help. And the West may get more and more water, especially as we go throughout the summer. There's your summer outlook video. It breaks down the likelihood of El Nino coming into our Western neighborhoods this summer.